Welcome all wonders in one sight, eternity shut in a span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth, divinity shone abundantly amid humanity. Great little one, whose all-embracing birth lifted earth to heaven, and heaven touching earth, whose rising again makes sure the same. By divine grace. Amen. Now, right at the start of the week, Mary of Magdala comes early to the tomb, it being yet shrouded in gloom, and makes out the gaping mouth of the tomb with the stone having been wrenched away from it. So she runs headlong back to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, the one of whom Jesus was especially fond and she cries out to them, Someone's removed our Lord from the tomb, and we've no idea where they've taken him. So Peter and the other disciple leapt up and rushed over to the tomb. They made off together, but the other disciple outstripped Peter, arriving there first. Peering in, he makes out the deflated image of the shroud, and nothing more. But Simon Peter, when he arrived, straightway set foot inside the darkness of the tomb. He too found the shroud just lying there empty, and noticed the headcloth neatly folded up and set to one side. The other disciple then followed him within. He saw everything, trying to get his head round it, but as yet couldn't begin to imagine the truth of the matter, that it had been his destiny to rise up from death. So they made their way back to the rest of the disciples in a daze. Mary, however, kept vigil by the tomb, quietly sobbing. Through her veil of tears, she looked again inside the hollow of the cave. This time her eyes were met by two bright angelic figures just sitting there in front of her, on the very same ledge where Jesus' body had been set, one at either end. And they ask her, Dear woman, why are you crying? They took my Lord, and I don't know where. At that point, she was distracted by a shaft of light coming from behind her. There stood Jesus himself, though dazzled by the rising sun. She had no idea it was him. Then he spoke. My dear woman, why are you so upset? Who are you looking for? Taking him for a gardener, she says, Mister, if you know anything about this, tell me what's happened. Just let me see him. Mary. Mary stared back at him. After a while, all she could utter was, Rabbi. Her hands reached slowly out as if to embrace him, but he said, Not yet, not until the heavenly time. First, I need you to tell my dear brothers about this. Tell them I am rising on high to our Heavenly Father, the Almighty. 
So Mary the Magdalena did as she was bidden. She came to the disciples saying to them in plain terms, I have seen the Lord. And she recounted every word. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Play, Spirit, place. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Lord, I come to your awesome presence from the shadows into your radiance. By your love I may enter the brightness. Search me, try me, consume all my darkness. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Play, Spirit, plays, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness, ever changing from glory to glory. Mirrored here, may our lives tell your story. Shine on us. Shine on us. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Play, Spirit, place. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the risen Christ illumine our hearts, transform our lives and our minds with God's grace and the blessing of God's Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us, 
here on this Easter morn and forever in his safekeeping, the world in his hands. Amen. The light of Christ, thanks be to God.